Hello everyone, my name is Alexia Maria Oyvala. I'm reporting for Hollywood Connections just after the show, and I'm here with... Rada. Alright, so we hear that you are a movie maker um, coming up, and also a musician, so can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes, um, I actually started uh, writing and doing a lot of things as far as uh, music, spoken words, you know, I went to a charter school in uh, New Jersey, uh, we did role playing every day, we wrote poems, we painted, we did a lot of these things, I, you know, I stayed in gifted and talent art all the way from elementary school to uh, high school as well, and pursued, you know, uh, you know, marketing and everything like that in college. And then I came here to Florida and I saw this was a beautiful place and a lot of thoughts start to evolve and my mind was at rest and I just started just making my music, you know, coming to life, you know, and, and actually uh, writing, you know, uh, and directing and acting uh, this film. Wonderful. And what inspired you to become a musician and an actor, director, writer? Oh, wow. Um, I don't want to say I was forced in it, um, but I also, I, I used to just um, go to the movie theaters, and, um, and I used to just get a ticket and just watch all the films in the movie theaters and just see how uh, amazing the actors were. And then with the music, you know, because I was in spoken words, a lot of the content, I don't want to say the profanity level, it was, profanity level was like through PG-13, okay, so it wasn't like, you know, this crazy stuff, you know, going on, but um, my in-depth um, a visual perspective of of, of, of of describing, you know, what I can do on audio, you know, uh, transcended over onto, you know, paper and writing and screen. Right. So that's how that happened. And how would you say music and um, acting is involved in one another? Okay. Um, it depends. Um, music and acting, if you are compiling an album, you know, uh, together and, you know, you make a song, let's say you make a single. When someone uh, buys a, 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 an album or a single, you know, they want to, they first they get the single, they want to pretty much hear what the album's going to be like. So when you create an album, you have to create an atmosphere that everybody can gravitate to. So, you know, there comes uh, a part of acting and skits and uh, role playing, things of that nature to make your album justified, you know. You want people to step into your world. And then with the film aspect of it, you know, a lot of films, they use, you know, certain sound bites and certain themes like uh, musical beats to, to, to create the climax of the movie. You know, you can be watching a movie and, and all of a sudden you hear this crazy sound come out of nowhere from left field that actually intensifies the drama or the ex in, ex next to music, you know, and that's what we create, yeah. That's wonderful. So now I that you are making your first screenplay. Yes. So can you tell us what it's about and when you got the inspiration to make this film or, you know, begin to make this film? Good question. Um, first, I'd like to say is that the movie is somewhat based on a true story within the characters itself, okay? Um, you can say, yeah, it's a true story. But, you know, the powers that be, you know, you don't want to, you know, it's entertainment. This is the entertainment world. So, um, the, the, the whole thing about it is is that it's a Spanish uh, love story, a mafioso love story, with two lovers uh, that grew up in this uh, poverty-stricken area, and they, you know, they came up for, you know, in, in the hard times, and they actually branched off and became, you know, they start making a lot of money and doing better for themselves, but they find themselves intertwined with the other world, you know, of the underworld, where they're trying to actually get out, and um, you know, they want to find a new life and they want to have a new life, and then a whole bunch of stuff goes down. <laughs> so is it going to be in English or Espanol? Um, uh, it's going to be mainly English because the reason why it's not one thing particular about this Spanish mafio, mafioso love story is that the, the guy that I'm playing, Carlos, he has an international connection. He has uh, family, friends that he grew up with that are from Africa, from South America, Russia, Europe, you know, so you're going to see a lot of broken language, Spanglish, all kinds of stuff like that. It's bilingual. Bilingual, that's wow. right. Yeah. That's great. So when are you going to be holding castings for it? Um, is there, what are you looking next week, for? Next week, 
we're looking for everything. We, we, I, don't, I mean, you know, even down to the kid, the little kid that says extra, extra, read about it. You know, that, you know, we're looking for stuff like that. You know, kids can always play a role in this film. Uh, it's not going to be too, too graphic, um, you know, but uh, we're going to be doing the casting. Um, we're going to start the first casting uh, next week here at uh, TAN, you know, and, um, you know, which is going to be, it's going to open up a lot of doors. So I'm going to do a, another blast, an email blast. So where are you guys' locations going to be for the filming Good process? Good question. Um, I am supposed to be probably possibly flying out to Chicago, uh, Las Vegas, um, Nevada, um, mainly uh, in the Bay Area. Okay. Um, I want to say Tampa, Clearwater, maybe St. Pete, uh, Fort DeSoto, uh, even Pasco County, believe it or not. Oh, that's yeah. Wonderful. Quick question, real quick. A lot of people will want to know: Is this pain or non-pain? Uh, because sometimes if it's credits or so, can you give your advice on that as well? And then we're going to go outside and get some more interviews. Pain meaning what? Like uh, they get paid to do the? Uh, right. Right. Uh, no, it's okay. not. It, it is yes and no. Okay. okay. Experience. Um, exactly. What it is 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 that uh, what the with the film and everything like that this is something that's uh, brand new into the uh, to the motion picture world the way it's going to be directed so it is going to be a platform that is going to go to places like you know your um, movie uh, motion picture places like Lionsgate Paramount all these particular uh, places um, even now we're going to take a trip uh, down to uh, Miami and present it as well but it is going to be packaged and signed sealed and delivered um, so well, that's this could be for credits and, and for their reel as well. Exactly. An opportunity. Yes, and any, uh, it's, it's going to be an experience. I want people to understand that it is a platform and it's an opportunity to, to be on film and everything like okay. that and to, to create, you know. And uh, once the platform gets initiated or sold, you know, the people that played the role will be compensated a percentage. Right. So, you know, we have to finish the movie first. Right. And I agree with you because a lot of people think that jumping and acting automatically, they're going to get paid jobs. That's not the right thing. No. A lot of people go years with doing free work, but in the end, even if it's free work, it's still experience. And, you know, doing movies and film, you have to pay to make the movie. So sometimes the directors and writers don't have enough to pay the actors. But in the end, if it does get picked up, it's great experience, exposure, and just the thing about acting is doing it what you love for it. The beautiful thing is, and just to touch, go more in depth on that, you know, and people need to really key in on what I'm about to say. Just imagine someone playing your part that you were set the platform to play. And when you have something like that, you are part of that creation. And that is valuable, you know. And you have to understand that a lot of films go somewhat bankrupt just paying a certain particular actor or actress and the movie kind of like falls out of budget at the end of the movie, you know, because they have too many uh, actors, high dollar actors. Right. So this is something that's going to, it's definitely going to be a book that's going to be made, definitely going to be a platform that's going to be made. And it's going to have, you know, something, you know, very valuable. So. Yeah. And I agree with you on that. Yeah. So if anybody wants to see um, some of your, or I know you used to do acting before, before just your movie, can they check out some of your old previous work and also your music? Where can they listen to that? Yes. Where can we get all that information out? What they would um, have to do is, what they would want to do is go here, okay? It's, um, you can go into my Facebook, is Rada, R-I-D-A, and Angel, like Angel with Wings, and um, just uh, log on there. You can see some of the stuff that I do. Um, you can also go on the actual website, which is R-I-D-A, A-K-A, ThugAngel.com, and you'll see what I have in the making. I'm also um, promoting a reggaeton artist. Also, I'm promoting uh, uh, an R&B artist as well, and along with my free mix CD, and I have an album that's coming out at the end of this month. So. And how did you meet Miss Don Reese, and how did you hear about Hollywood Connection? Uh, I met, good question, I, I met Don Reese uh, through uh, King James, 
and um, a friend of mine that used to come to my shop a lot, and he introduced me to her, and um, we were on the air last week. We did a very good job. She was pretty impressed, and she invited us back out again. So, um, you know, hopefully we will be building a, a good business uh, friendship relationship. Yeah. And what do you think of the Shell Hollywood Connection? I think it's great. Um, I'm also curious to know about the mentoring program that she has going on for um, young teens as well. And, um, you know, that, that is something that's very powerful in this day and time, you know. So for the audition that you're having, um, are you going to be sitting outside or do you want people to come prepared with a monologue? How would they, that way they'll know if they want to come that out? Is, that is a great question. Um, you know, it's, excuse me, it's going to be, um, it's going to be optional. You know, sometimes, you know, people are not um, as ready to, you know, um, jump into a frame of a part, you know. So pretty much they're going to be able to meet me, know me as a person, an individual. I am very punctual, okay. So if you decide to come into my crew, we're going to throw group functions. We're going to meet at the bowling alley, the cast talking about, you know, when we go into a, a production. We're going to meet at little, like, places like Applebee's, very much well kid-friendly places, you know. And we're going to get together. We're going to sit at a round table. We're going to talk. We're going to feel each other out, the cast out. That way, when you get on film, we know exactly what's going on. We know that person's character. We know that person's this and that, you know, ins and out. And the more that you follow these particular functions and, you know, come and report to, you know, these uh, casting calls and, and, and our group meetings, the more that we're going to have more success with our, you know, film and in the business correlation. And if you're not on that, then you might as well don't come. Right. You know? Okay, well, thank you so much for your time. It was a pleasure meeting you. Right, thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. thank you guys, and stay tuned for more.